Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Big Kids Backyard Tour Reviews. As you can see, I like to do a little bit of jet skiing. I thought I'd put together some short YouTube videos to go over some of the gear that I take with me and some of the protection and other accessories that I use. Um, today I want to talk about eyewear, eye protection. Okay, so I guess starting out on jet skiing, most of us go for the trusty sunglasses. It's a good idea to try and get something that has a polarised lens that'll just help you see through the clear water a little bit better. Really handy when you're going through shallow uh, water where there might be sandbars or submerged objects. It, it really makes all that difference just being able to, to see through the first few feet of water. Now, I'm sure there are a lot of you watching that have had the same problem and lost countless pairs of sunglasses out on a jet ski. The first thing I started to do was try a strap system similar to this. It works pretty well keeps them stuck on your head, they can't fall off and if they do fall off this is made of neoprene so it adds a little bit of buoyancy and I've found it makes your sunglasses float so you can always turn around go back and get them. All right, so the, the next thing up from say your basic pair with a strap you can actually get these Jet Pilot Sunnies that um, have some buoyancy built in. So they're very similar to your normal pair of cheap Sunnies, they've just got plastic frame, polycarbonate polarised lens and on the inside they've got this uh, foam padding so that's very comfortable sitting against your head it helps keep them tight and on and if they do fall off that adds all the flotation that you need so you can go back and get them now you notice this is a pink and black pair obviously not mine this is my girlfriend's she absolutely loves these sunnies and they're pretty cheap i think um you know retail from an actual shop that i've walked into they were about 49 dollars and you know that, that's amazing for a brand like jet pilot and you know, not even bought online, I walked into a shop. So we had some good success with using sunglasses like this, but what I found is on the long trips or the choppy trips, all that spray getting on the front of your sunnies, it leaves that salt residue and also gets in behind, leaves that salt residue and you really can't see. It, it's very poor visibility. You know, you wash them off in the salt water, try and scrub it, same problem still, it's not a very good system. So I thought there's got to be a better way. And I saw some guys out there with motocross style goggles. So I started my hunt to see if I could find a suitable pair for jet ski. Now my main requirement was I needed polarized lenses. Um, so you know, I, I googled, I looked around different shops and I kept coming back to skiing snowboard, snowboard style goggles. Uh, a lot of those though, are about 300 bucks, they're not really suited to be in a water environment. And they're a uh, double layer lens, you don't really need that in the humidity or the warm climates that most of us jet skiers live in. Um, well, my, my search eventually brought me to this pair by Dragon. So they're called the Dragon MDX Hydro. They look just like a motocross goggle, but surprisingly these are meant for jet ski. But I bought them in a motorbike store and uh, the salespeople didn't even know they were meant for jet ski. Now what makes them a little bit different, you've got your normal strap, your padding, very similar to a motocross goggle. They differ in that they have drain ports just in the bottom, so if you do get water that comes out. They obviously float too with all this foam padding. And the lenses are actually polarized, not like um, every other motocross goggle I could find. And the tint on them is really good, so it's not your normal black or gray tint, it's a slight rose tint. So that tends to highlight everything and makes everything just a little bit more clearer. Um, you also find your field of view, massive. You don't have all the issues of, you know, this not fitting your nose or the frame or wind getting in in the gap between your nose and the sunglasses. They make a nice seal around your face. You get no more wind buffeting in your eyes. No spray gets in on the inside of the lens, which is very important, so you only get spray on the outside. And the, the spray on the outside being polycarbonate tends to just blow off. So you have superior vision pretty much all the time. Now I thought you'd look a little bit silly wearing something like this, right? Maybe with a helmet you'd get away with it, but you know, once you try them and see the vision clarity, you won't care what you look like. As you can see, I mean, I look silly, but not that silly, especially once I'm on a jet ski. Not too bad. Yeah, so I would recommend if you're having the same problem as me, to not muck around, go straight to these Dragon Hydro Jet Polarized Goggles. Now, I bought them at a motorbike store in Australia for $89. That's a bargain compared to other polarized goggles out there. Um, it was actually Team Moto Online that I got them from. Uh, I know, in, uh, I think you can get them out of the States and a few other countries as well. 
Dragon also have them on their website. Um, and yeah, they definitely are polarized. I can confirm they're polarized. So if this review has been helpful, guys, can you please um, subscribe and put a like on the bottom right hand corner and keep an eye out for my uh, next few videos on gear and jet skis and generally all sorts of big kids toys. videos a lot of sunnies they get splashed off into the water so as a basic sunglass tip I'd always go polarized and I started using this little neoprene strap to try and um, help them float when they fall in the water Fucking hell.